Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? How y'all doing today? All right, so. Oh, my name is Edison, also known as Shredison. So if you follow me on IG, then you already know who I am, what I'm about. But this is actually going to be my first ever YouTube video. Now, it's been long awaiting and the light just turned off on me. All right, so we got the light back on. But this is gonna be my first video ever. Uh, yes. So, what do I do? Who am I? What am I about? Let's start off with my, uh, I guess you can say my story. So, I am right now currently a personal trainer at, at a gym, uh, LA Fitness, and I train people help them become the best version of themselves mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and most importantly, physically, because that's what it's really all about. However, the last two years of my life uh, has been a tremendous growth in who I am, my purpose, what I love to do, and knowing where I'm going to go because I've learned what it is to be patient what it is to fail the amount of times that I failed has not just only humbled me but it has given me so much growth internally that it just came to the point where I'm more than ready to now document my story which is gonna be here through this camera that I have and that I've had I had this camera for a year and a half a year and a half I've never used it. Why? Well, because I was afraid of other people's judgment, uh, posting, seeing me around with this camera, and I couldn't, I couldn't ever do it. But now I've been, I've been always doing it with my phone, so it's really easy to just record with my phone because I'm able to see myself because I'm also and was very self-conscious and insecure with how I am physically and internally. But that shit is all gone because your boy has evolved. <laughs> evolved to a new level, new heights. I can't be more, more happier on who I am and the value that I'm ready to give. However, I have so much yet to learn and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of, of the journey that I'm in right now. And now that I've learned what it is to be patient, not just learned it, but mastered it. Uh, I just can't wait to keep on going now. So I thought of this being the perfect opportunity to pick up the camera, tell my story, and how it all started. So uh, it started when I was like any ordinary kid. Uh, went to finish high school, went to college, and I pursued a, a major in forensic psychology. So I loved at that time what the human mind was capable of which is why I just went for psychology however um, I uh, went more towards the route of criminal justice so I was going to become a cop and I didn't see like it was for me so long story short I ended up dropping out of school with only a semester left or well, a year left a year left of school and I had so many opportunities to work for big jobs uh big corporations and i've also got rejected from a lot as well and i was very unhappy and i would always spend a lot of time here where you guys see is my garage and my backyard so i would always spend a lot of time here where i would train work out whether it be soccer uh working out here doing some calisthenics and uh meditating getting to know who i am and uh yeah, man, the story has been long, and it has been tough, and I'm just, you know, after after dropping out of school, which was uh, in March of 2017, so two years and a half, today is December the 8th, is today the 8th, yes, today is December, the 8th of December, today is December 8th, 2019. So about two years and a half since I left school and decided to pursue my passion, which has been fitness. I have learned so much 
not just on the field, like one again, not just on the field, but mostly myself, and finally able and having the courage and the confidence and the security, me being who I am, to finally make this into a reality, this dream that I have. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because I come from a family where, like, I'm sure most of you guys can resonate. They want you to be someone. However, they want that someone. They want that someone. They want you to be someone. But that someone isn't you. That someone is the image that they have for you. And I saw that very early on. Uh, in my teens when I was about 16, 17 years old and I saw it around um, my classmates back in high school you know everyone living in fear of uh, of really honestly money and being secure I always knew that I just I couldn't live that life I couldn't live that life of security and I always felt that I was destined to do great things uh, but now I know what my purpose is more than ever now and I can see now that it's all nice to be confident with who you are and to ha and to know what you want to do and just to be genuinely happy. But it does it's not going to happen overnight uh, being the best at it. You have to work and you have to work fucking hard. And that's the last two. That's what I've been doing the last two years. I've been working hard on it. I sacrificed my legs, time with friends, time with family. To really get to know who I am even more at a deeper level um, and to really dig down and see all the excuses that I've been making the last two years and a half since I left school to pursue my passion and it just came to the point where you know you just run out of fucking excuses because uh, you start seeing how full of shit you really are um, but also the beauty that you are and how important it is to which we'll get on in a future future video to not self judge yourself and uh, not mind anyone else's judgment because everyone else is all everyone's already gonna judge you at some point in your life <sighs> man this feels really good this feels really really good but yeah two and a half years of struggles uh, I literally had almost no money in my pocket uh, my parents weren't too happy, so it fe they felt that they they failed with me. I saw it as I finally got out and broke the chain of that secure secure mindset that everybody wants in this world, that everybody thinks that they want, but that's not true. And I knew that I was going to go for something great, and I knew I, I did not have the support of my family at that time, and it was times were rough. I was only making a couple dollars an hour working at a gym at Planet Fitness barely making any money or walking to work or taking the bus uh, riding my bike and sometimes just staying you know outside in the streets because sometimes I wouldn't be welcomed home um, and it was tough but that didn't last long you know eventually my parents supported me and now I can't be more than blessed to have them in my life and uh, to see them grow as, as well so it's a blessing Holy shit, man. This feels fucking good, guys. Damn. Anyways. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of... I'm tired of my own shit. But at the same time, I appreciate so much. And... <laughs> and, and so much that I've done and so much that I still need to do and I can't be more than happy than to take you guys along this journey and my my intuition has been telling me so much about myself the things that I failed at uh, how I've uh, one second uh, how I've lied to myself so much how I've lied to others so much how I put this image that I'm not and I believe that everyone everyone around here uh, we're all like this but it's our mission and duty to train 
long is this video? 10 minutes. 10 more minutes. It fucking kills to see it every day. It really, it aggravates me and annoys me to see how many individuals are out there. Uh, the friends that I've had that I, I, I always talk to, to see them lost and confused, not knowing what they want for themselves. That stuff, when, when I see that, it really, I don't know if it angers me, but it, it it's just... It pisses me off because but at the same time I, I understand because I was also there I was also there not always thinking I was always thinking thinking and thinking and thinking and why and what's wrong with me why couldn't I why can't I do what someone else is doing why can't I be like that person or always self-judging themselves. Not seeing what is true. The beauty inside of you and the potential that you really have to make a huge impact in this world that we live in. I see it all the time. When I wake up in the morning, I see it in my parents. I see it in my sister. I see it in my, my aunts, my, my grandfather, my grandma, everyone, everyone, my neighbors, my friends, my coworkers. And it sucks. It sucks. It sucks to see how how easy we, we are. How vulnerable. No. It's easy to see how weak we are from judgment from ourselves and from others. And it, it it's the most... I'm, I'm tired of seeing that. And that's why we're, we're doing this right now. That's why we're making this video right now. Because I can, I understand. I've been there. I've been there for, for the last seven years of my life. Since I was 17 is when the real journey started. When I started doing self-development on myself. And why I felt like a fucking loser. Why I felt like I, I was not good enough. Why I felt like, like when I look at myself, I don't like what I see. Or when I talk, I don't like what I hear. It's just unbelievable. I, I, sometimes I can't even believe how I had that kind of thought. How I had those kind of feelings. How I was everywhere. But I understand and see now that with the proper guidance and really with the struggle, you... you the beauty of, of, of what you can learn and what you can do is is unreal but that's what I'm passionate about I, I I'm passionate about it since uh, since I've been uh, I don't know what since when <laughs> but I just love doing this for the longest uh, I've always been very I've always wanted to be the best me I've always wanted to be the best version of myself I wanted to be the best athlete. I wanted to be um, I wanted to be the best person the best person out there, I guess you can say. Or I wanted to be I wanted to be all the good things that all you guys also want to be. But the big problem is that You, you focus too much on who you want to be. And you lose focus on who you are already. 
and uh, <laughs> after really learning more of who I am I got a black cat passing by my house after learning a lot about who I am it allowed me to to break that chain and to you know drop out of school and to pursue what I wanted what I was so passionate about to help individuals to train I just love training I love putting my body through stress it's just a feeling that I love I love lifting weights I love doing athletic workouts I had a passion for soccer unfortunately I had so many injuries until I had a really big injury and I had I was also so stubborn in the head I was so hard-headed I didn't believe in the therapeutic uh, approaches to to get better I didn't believe in doctors or anything like that so hard-headed and which is why I had these injuries and I knew that I didn't want to go through that feeling again so which is a big reason why I became a trainer and after doing this for two years and a half I've learned also how being a trainer can lead to greed and to manipulation and to um, lies because there's so much to know about this field it's, it's insane and but I love that so much and the contradictions that there are in this field is, is a beautiful thing because it just shows how different we all are and it goes back again to my to my development of myself seeing how I'm full of contradictions but that's the beauty in me that's the beauty in all of us and I'm well and more prepared now more than ever I may I failed many times I've uh, I've done I've done stuff yes but there's no point of judging myself because I won't go anywhere if that if that's the case I won't keep on leveling up you learn from failures but I've learned now that failures are just learning lessons and uh, I can't wait to keep on learning the new lessons in this journey that we're going to take together and I'm hey listen I'm right now I'm being serious because you know it's it's a very serious topic but once we start posting more on the YouTube you'll get to know who I really am as a person and uh it's it would be a lot of fun you know what I'm saying well anyways guys I thought I would cry in my first video but I see now that it's not the case cuz um, There's no reason to dwell. It only wastes time. Patience, finding out what you love to do, going after it, not looking back, not caring what others think, and not beating yourself up, and enjoying the moment, enjoying the journey. Knowing where you're gonna be in the next 10, 20 years, <laughs> it's a beautiful feeling, man. <laughs> I can't lie, it's a beautiful feeling. So with that being said, guys, I've, uh, I've come through a long way. I can't wait to continue this journey, to keep on evolving, to keep on getting better, to get stronger. You guys will see right now currently in terms of fitness and weightlifting, my career, I just recently got injured on my lower back and I've been taking all the advice from my PT friends and from my doctors who are my clients and I can't be more than blessed and to have these people in my life. And I'm not as, I'm not hard-headed no more as before. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. It's going to be three weeks since I haven't worked out. But these three weeks that I've been uh, not at the gym. Well, I'm always at the gym because I'm training. But the last three weeks of not working out, I've been able to really once again do some more internal growth. And, I'm and you know, it, this this last piece of the puzzle before 2020 starts is is the last piece to make sure that 2020 is my fucking decade you remember it right now this first video right here my name Edison Agudo 
it's gonna make an impact not just in the fitness industry but in the world why because I'm still growing myself just remember that just remember that I'm going to make an impact man I'm gonna make an impact not just in the fitness industry but in the world that we live in today why am I gonna make that impact because I'm still impacting myself and I'm still learning about myself I'm still learning about my own demons and I'm changing myself and I'm working hard I'm working mad fucking hard to work on myself to change myself to make me better because I know if I'm getting better then I know that the world is changing at that point and that's what I want and that's the invitation for anyone who's watching this to tag along in this journey in this story and let's enjoy man I'm gonna recover from this lower back injury I'll recover very soon and I'll be back to the to powerlifting because right now I am powerlifting it's something new um, something new that I've been doing and I've been enjoying it so much it really reminds me of my soccer days because of the adrenaline that you feel uh, so but I can see now that with uh, with a sport like this that can also be very detrimental and also very uh, it can literally basically just put you out of commission a sport like this uh, needs to be done with with intelligence with a sport like powerlifting needs to be done with intelligence and also with that extra internal heart that you have inside of you that burning heart of wanting to get better so you need both of them the only thing that I've been lacking is the intelligence part so we're gonna fix that we're gonna educate ourselves get better get better at this field and help you guys also who knows whatever it is that your goal is either whether it be deadlift I don't know 600 pounds squat some types of weight squat heavy weight bench heavy weight get better internally mentally spiritually um, that's my dream so without that, that being said man I'm hoping to one day own my own gym inspire and motivate the world and uh, yeah let the journey begin man I'll see you guys on the next video my name is Edison and I love every single one of you. Peace.